What's going on, everybody? We're gonna make some avocado. <laughs> some avocado. Some guacamole, real quick. And. I'm gonna list the ingredients right here. Pretty simple though. I remember this one off by heart. So, obviously you're gonna need avocado. I probably spelled that wrong. I'm usually a good speller, but oh well, it's a uh, probably gonna need salt, ginger, or garlic, or both. Onion in there. Cilantro. So I'm still getting used to this board, so my handwriting is usually better. <laughs> my handling usually better. Alright, let's get this puppy going. I just have a little board right now, but it's still gonna work. Giving you a close up view. Cut a couple open. Seed fell around out. <coughs> Just making a little bit for later, or if you're with people at a party. It should come right out pretty clean. That means it's a ripe avocado. Especially if the seed comes out. We'll do one more, I guess. We'll do three little avocados. These are smaller avocados. Um, the way to tell if an avocado is ripe, it's gonna be almost smushy. It's gonna give back a little bit though. So it's gonna push back, but you don't want it to be like super smushy. This is a lot of avocado. It's gonna be a rather fast recipe. So, we're gonna cut some ginger next. There's some ginger in there. Too much ginger in there. 
We're gonna throw some sea salt in there. have some onion already cut up though from the other day I don't want to make this too fancy but there's a couple ingredients we can have or add just some onion from the other day might as well use it instead of cutting a whole onion ginger in there zoom out for a second so we got the onion I'm gonna chop this up real quick Chopped. That's cool. We can throw this in there. Now it beefed up a little bit. Now we got some cilantro. You just come and get a nice bit. I like cilantro. You kind of don't want to get the stems. You can eat the stems, but they're kind of hearty. <laughs> in there other than that uh, we got one more thing I didn't write on the board lemon juice so we're gonna cut this lemon get my juicer I have a handheld one so one a whole lemon to a half a lemon is pretty good but as you'll see you'll probably want more it feels like there should be more So we'll do, we'll do like, um, we'll do a whole one almost, one half, almost like three fourths. Don't squeeze maybe the second one, see how it tastes first. I got my fork right here. You wanna mash down the avocado. You could also cut the avocado more before you put it in here. Now there's a bunch of ways to make this. You could add some soy sauce to this. Um, you could add other spices. You could add fruit, tomato, uh, cooking aminos. So we got a lot of guac right here. There's actually a lot. I might end up giving some to somebody. But yeah, there we go. We got that all around. It's, I mean, it's pretty much good to go. Um, got some peppers. They're kind of looking wilty. I'll throw throw a couple pep peppers in there. and add flavor, add fiber. Probably do one more. And that's pretty much it. Now you can always add, you can add a little bit of honey or sugar to this. I'm probably gonna add some maple syrup to mine if I do.
So there we go, we got the pepper, we got onion, we got ginger, we could add garlic if we wanted to. We got cilantro, so there we go. We could probably even add another pepper, but that's pretty much it for the video. Make sure you subscribe. Very fresh. I only have a little bit, so. Well, uh, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Hope, hopefully this served you in some way. Have a nice one.